So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wood floor using one point perspective. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do on this back wall here, where it's meeting the floor, you're going to mark an even measurement. Okay, you could choose quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch, for purposes of not making this super, super long, I'm gonna go with a quarter of an inch. So you're gonna mark that off. And a quarter of an inch. Then once you have those dots, all you have to do is take your T-square or your ruler. I have a bent ruler here that I'm going to use. You're going to line the vanishing point up with that dot. Okay, and just draw that convergence line. Obviously, at this point, you're going to have furniture in your room. So where you have furniture, I would definitely skip over it instead of drawing on top of it and erasing it afterwards. It makes way more sense to skip over the furniture. So please make sure you're skipping over the furniture. That's why I told you guys to draw the floor last so that you can skip over the furniture rather than drawing the floor first and having to erase the parts that interfere with the furniture. Once you have all of the convergence lines drawn, you're going to draw horizontal lines completely at random. Okay, so you want to place them um, further apart in the foreground and closer together as they get further away. But completely at random, wherever you want. When you lay wood floors, the whole point is that they look random. If they were like the wood um, tiles, like the fake wood, the ceramic, then it would be more uniform if you wanted to do that. But that is all you have to do. It's pretty simple. 